I find myself very fortunate to be in the position that I'm in where I can often deliver good news to people. Even the little things like your prescription hasn't changed can really make someone's day. And it's quite thrilling. If you're new to the channel, then welcome. My name is Antonio. I talk about anything I related. So if you like learning, then you're going to have a good time. When I give my patients good news, they are quite delighted. But I once had a patient where they said to me, oh, it must be because of the eye exercises I'm doing. And while practicing, there are moments like these where time just stops. And I think to myself, what eye exercises? So I had to YouTube this. Eye exercises, 60 million views, wow. I watched the video so that you don't have to. Like, for real. Don't watch the video. It frustrates me because videos like these go viral and they're blatantly incorrect. There's a part of the video where they say that closing your eyes can strengthen your photoreceptors and it can improve your vision. And pressing down on your temples can increase the intraocular flow of fluid, whatever that means. I would love to see what sort of evidence they're going off of. To be fair, these methods will by in no means harm your eyes but the illusion that it gives off that it can drastically improve your eyesight or you know make you not have to wear glasses anymore is a complete myth and health professionals around the world will have to clean up the mess it creates. The funniest part of all this is the comment section. I tried this for one month and my eyesight improved drastically. Now everyone calls me Hawkeye. Hmm. Before we continue, I want to clarify a few things so that you don't look silly while doing exercises that will probably not help you in any way. There are mainly two different types of muscle groups that control the eye. One are the extraocular muscles, which control the direction of the eye, and the other are the intraocular muscles, which help with focusing and light adaptation. There is evidence to suggest that training these muscles can improve visual function, but this is the thing that I wish everyone knew about. In most cases, when people say that their eyesight is bad, they're talking about their visual acuity. In other words, the smallest level of detail that their eyes can resolve, aka the smallest line on the vision chart they can read. But eyesight is a combination of different things. If you wanted to test your eyes on every single criteria, then you'd have to look at things like vernier acuity or orientation acuity or even curvature acuity. But quite frankly, these measurements are completely irrelevant to the average human being because we don't need to know what the level of offset your eyes can detect. It makes no difference. But what we do need to know, however, is can this person read text or numbers? In other words, can they resolve small levels of detail if it's too far away or if it's too small? In which case, we'll need to know the visual acuity. By now, it's pretty obvious that eye exercises will probably not improve visual acuity, but what are some acuities eye exercises can help improve? Anything that requires the muscle groups that I talked about earlier. Convergence exercises can help with people with reduced stereo acuity, which is your ability to judge depth using your two eyes, possibly with those with high exophoria or convergence insufficiency. For the vast majority of the population that don't have these conditions, you probably get enough convergence exercises in your day-to-day -day life from reading your phone or your books. So don't worry about your eyes becoming weaker or less than functional, because they won't. Again, these exercises are designed for people with reduced stereoacuity that are wanting to have normal acuity. And besides, if you wanted better stereoacuity for specific things like playing sport, such as knowing how far the goal is away from you, then you wouldn't be doing these eye exercises that are like pencil push-ups or brock beads. You'd be showing up to the gym day after day, repeating the motion and learning it via muscle memory. If your arm just randomly started to spasm, then yes, relaxing it and stretching it out can definitely help restore it back to normal. Likewise, if you're overworking your eyes and it starts spasming, then maybe look into the distance and try and relax your eyes that way. And again, these eye exercises are designed to relax your eyes, not to replace your glasses or give you Hawkeye vision. If the eyes are overworked, it can cause asthenopia or even pseudomyopia. 
both of which involve eye strain. And don't worry about this affecting your eye exam because optometrists are trained to pick up on these things. We're health professionals after all. And there are solutions to these problems as well. And while eye exercises will probably not make you see more letters on the vision chart, at least it doesn't harm the eyes by giving it something to do. So to clarify, if you have any binocular vision or focusing issues, then maybe see your optometrist, they might have a solution for you. If not, they can refer you to see a specialist that specializes in vision training or therapy. If you've been overworking your eyes, then give them a break by looking about 6 meters or 20 feet away just to relax them a little. But again, if you're an average Joe wanting to see more letters on the vision chart in the form of natural eye exercises, then you probably won't get much luck there. And with that being said, I'm going to end the video. I hope you learned something new or at least found something useful. If you did, then yay, thumbs up to you. If you want to thumbs up back, then that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.